Hey everyone, John here, and today I'm going to continue the series showing how to make a game called Star Catcher. Um, today we are going to uh, continue making the game more playable, and pretty soon we're going to end up finishing it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the meteors, so let's open up the meteor. And let's open up the star, because the code for them is going to be very simple, uh, similar. So appearance is good, behaviors is good. For the events, we just want to copy the fall event and go into the events of the meteor and paste it in and same for the cleanup and I'm just right clicking to pull up that menu and now for collision collisions good physics that should be good I'll go in here and make it not rotate that's good and then the stars properties it's just in group items and we're going to put this into group uh, enemies all right so that's good for the meteor. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make the game spawn either a star or a meteor and it's going to be more likely to spawn a star probably but the meteor is also going to be a chance. Alright so let's do let's get an if statement. If let's get a greater than or equal to and we are going to get a random integer. So if a random integer between 0 and 100 is greater than or equal to 35, let's do, then create a star. Else, or otherwise, sorry, in most coding languages is else, and then we are going to do the same thing except for a meteor. And what we can do instead of keeping that in there is put this on the outside because this is going to happen either way. All right, so that will now randomly spawn a meteor or a star. And now what we need to do is uh, make it so that the player can catch meteors. So let's go into our player in his events. So catch star, basically just for now, just duplicate it. Let's rename it to catch meteor and instead of items just make it enemies that'll be good for now until we implement score which is what we're going to do next but first let's test that out and make sure it works all right here we are so star catching works it should oh, there's a meteor catching meteor works I think the meteor should fall a little bit faster. So let's go into the meteor, in the events, and let's set the Y speed to 25 instead. All right, I think that'll be good. Now, now let's make the score system. So uh, let's do it on the, let's do it on the player since we already have the uh, collision code. So in the game attributes, we are going to create a new game attribute and call it score. Default number zero is good. All right, if it doesn't show up, just hit Control R, and that will reload the whole software, uh, but not get rid of anything. All right, so now we have this score. So on the catch star, let's set score to, and then get a plus in here. Score game attribute score plus one. So every time we hit an item, which will just be the stars, the score goes up by one. Then let's copy this, bring it into catch meteor, except instead of plus, I want to put a minus in here. Score minus one. And then just put that in there. You don't need that because we already have that. All right. Now that's the score system, but it won't show unless we make it show. So let's go into the level now. In the events, let's add a when drawing, because when drawing is when the uh, GUI, the graphical user interface, is rendered. So uh, we can rename this to uh, show score. All right. So now I'm going to say in drawing styles. First, I'm going to actually have to make a font first. So let's go into fonts, create a new font, and just call it default, I guess. That's good. I like typewriter better. And 
that size is probably good. Style, bold, yeah. Smoothing is fine. I'll make it a gradient. Uh, let's do sort of like a sunset thing. That looks kind of cool. All right. And that's good. Effects. Let's give it a white stroke of one. I'm unsure about it. Yeah, white stroke of one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I might make the font a little bigger, maybe up to 40. That's good. And all right, I think that's good. Uh, shadow adds to it, but the background is black, so it won't do anything. All right, that's good. You can close that out. It'll save it. Might take a while. All right, so we're going to set our font to the font we just made. And then we are going to draw text. And we're going to need a, uh, and a uh, concatenation block is what we call it. Because to concatenate two pieces of text is to combine them. Just a fancy word. So in the first box, we're going to use score, colon, space. We always do a space. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to add in our, it's not in that menu. Oh, we need to get an as text too. Uh, you don't necessarily need an as text in the newest version of Stencil, but in older versions it uh, doesn't work unless you put it in there. So I always put one in for uh, safety. So we, we always put a space because score, it just prints the number of score in here. So it'd just be one. So if we didn't have a space in here, it'd just be like score colon one. But since we have this space, it'll be nice and spaced out. All right. Oops, accidentally dropped that block out of there. X. Let's just do 1-1. One, one. That's like one pixel margin from the top left. Because uh, zero, 0 stops at the top left of the screen all the way down to the uh, screen size at the bottom. All right. So let's test that out. Should be good, but let's test it. All right, let's load it up. Score one. Yep, that's pretty good. I'll try to see if I can get a meteor so that it'll see if it, the score goes down, which it should. Stars are falling pretty slowly, so I think what I might do is make them fall faster over time to make, the, to make them spawn quicker, just to make the game a little bit more intense. There's a meteor and score down. Okay, perfect. All right, what we are going to do next is we are going to, uh, we're gonna make a live system. So not only will the meteors take away your score, but they'll also uh, hurt you and you only have so much health. So let's make, while we're in here, let's display it. So let's create a new game attribute called health or uh, HP, which stands for health points. Number of initial value three. We want three lives, or uh, three hits that we can take. So let's duplicate this. Don't need this part, just need this part. So there's that. And then we're gonna get a plus here. So it's gonna be one plus, search height, get height using frame font. So what this will do is I'll make it to be uh, one pixel spaced, uh, one pixel below, our original text because get height using current font is the height of the uh, text of the the font the height of the font if that makes any sense and then we're going to do something similar here except it's going to be health colon and the space is still very good and then we need health that'll be good and now what we're going to do is we are going to go into our player and events, and every time that we catch a meteor, we want to set health to, let me go back to getters, health minus one. So, all right, so to make sure that our health doesn't go below zero, we are going to add a when updating, and we name this health check. Good. And we're basically just going to say if, And less than equals to, so if health is less than or equal to zero, so it'd be symbols mean less than or equal to, 
then we are going to do a game over event which we don't have a game over screen yet so let's create that real quick let's just duplicate to the level rename it to game over and let's just remove the star in the player that's good and then we're just going to search switch this big one down here is fine switch to game over crossfade for two and two is pretty good all right and then also just to provide a little bit of feedback when we get hit we are going to search shake and give a very small screen shake. Yeah, 0 0.05 seconds, and 0 0.1 seconds with an intensity of one. Just a very small shake, just to provide a little bit of feedback. All right, I think that's good. Yep, and let's also make it so that, let's do a, something called, let's, uh, an updating, and we're gonna call it uh, score check. All right, so now we're gonna do something I like to call a score check um, to give us more health. So we're going to say if, then we're gonna get an equals. So if, and then go into numbers and text, and this block here, remainder of. So if the remainder of score. So if the remainder of score divided by if the remainder of score divided by 10 equals zero, which means there is no remainder, as it means it's divisible by 10, then, and let's also do, uh, in fact, let's also make another, let's make an attribute for the player, and we're going to call this last hit by, and it's going to be a text, so what this is going to do is we're going to store the value of whether we are last hit by a star or a meteor. And you'll see why in just a second. So if it's hit by a star, then last hit by star. Hit by a meteor, last hit by meteor. So in the score check, we're going to take this out for a second and put an and in there. So if it's divisible by 10 and, we're gonna get equals, and last hit by equals star. And we need to do one more thing, and we need to do one more thing too, otherwise this will also not work. We are going to create an attribute, and it's going to be called uh, going to be kind of long health check already run it's going to be a boolean because that holds a true or false so in this we're going to first so we're going to add another and actually so if all that and we're going to get not so if and not health check already won because if health check is already run, we don't want to run the health check again. Oh, well, this is the score check, but I misnamed the variable, but it's fine. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is then, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set that to true. Because if it's uh, running, then that means it's already run. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, set health to health plus one. So every 10 score, so when you get uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, etc., it'll give you, um, it'll give you an extra health point. And what we did all this for is first it checks to see if it's, uh, if it's divisible by 10. And then it checks if you were hit by a meteor, because if you were hit by, if you had 11 score, and you were hit by a meteor and it went down to 10, we don't want to give it, a, we don't want it to give you an extra life because you were hit by a meteor, not a star. So it checks to make sure you last hit by a star. That means you actually got a point and not lost a point. 
and then it makes sure that this function has not already run because otherwise it would just give you infinite health every time you got to 10, 20, 30, or 40 and that would be pretty bad. All right, so that's all the logic explained and now we need to, in the catch star, we are going to uh, go to attributes and we are going to set the health check already run to false because uh, when you're first hit, it's not run yet. We're not going to do it in the meteor because that will also make sure that it doesn't run when we get hit by a meteor. All right, so let's test that. All right, here it is. So now health three, I can get score. All right, so if I get hit by a meteor, it gives a little shake and score is now zero and health is now two. But now I'm going to try to build my score up to 10 so we can see what happens. It should put me back at 3 when I hit 10. And I made it 10 because I feel like 10 is probably a pretty good number. We don't want to give the player extra health a ton, especially when the stars come more than meteors. I might adjust it, though. You can adjust it if you want. All right, so now I have 9. I'm about to get next one. Boom, now it's 3, 3 health. So every time it hits a number that's divisible by 10, it will... Uh, It'll go to it'll go up in one. All right, so now what we're going to do is um, now let's make the game over screen do something. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our game over, and in the uh, events, we do not want the spawn. We'll keep the show score except removing the health because we want to be able to see what our score was, and we are going to add another drawing and we name this game over text Let's make that G capital all right so now we have this and we are going to pretty much do the same thing set our font to our default font and we are going to draw the text game over and now here's where we do some classic math it's going to be uh, a minus, so it's going to be search width, width, and we need to divide it by in here. So it's going to be screen width divided by two because that's half the screen width minus half of the width of text, width of text divided by two. So it draws from the top left corner. So first we take the half of the screen, but then so say the half of the screen is here. But then it would draw the top left corner of the text at the center of the screen. So it would be like over here, the whole text. So what we're going to do is then subtract um, half of the width of the text, which will put it at a perfect center. So type it in the exact same way, or you can copy and paste it in to be perfectly safe. And for the Y, we also want it to be about halfway on the screen. So for this one, though, we're just going to do grab the screen width and make it height and divide it by two because it draws from the top left and actually yeah we're going to have to subtract that out of it too because it draws from the top left corner so it'd be drawing from the top so we're going to now search height and subtract the uh, text height that should be about center all right I think that's good we can test that to make sure it looks good and I'll just get a few meteors and go to the game over screen. Oh, unexpected things and events. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to set the font. There we go. Default. That should fix it. All right to not get the stars because I don't want extra health. I'm just going to try to get hit by all the meteors. Oh yeah, score can go in the negative too. Maybe we should change that. I just need one more meteor. Eh. There we go. Now it's going to the game over screen. There we go. It says game over, perfectly centered. 
All right, uh, let's real quick make it so that when the game is over, the player can't can move. So in the movement, we're just going to take all this out for a second and add an if and say if, we're gonna grab a greater than or equal to. So say if health is greater than or equal to one, because we don't want it to do it if it's zero or lower. That should be that. All right. So that's good. And um, in the meteor for the score, let's also say uh, right here, if if the score is greater than or equal to one, then we can subtract it. Because if it's zero or anything less than zero, we don't really want to subtract the score because zero should kind of be the lowest it can go. All right, uh, let's test that. All right, so I'm not going to get the stars. I'll get one just to see if that's good. So I'll avoid the stars now and get only meteors, which are pretty common. All right, there's one. Went down to zero, and I hope it's two. See if it goes in. The score shouldn't go any lower, but the health should be able to drop. All right, so the score did not drop anymore, and the health is now one. We'll get hit one more time, and then try to move and see if everything looks good there. Okay, so I forgot. I should probably also make it so that um, and I'll also make it so that uh, it sets the um, x speed to zero because uh, it just kept sliding off the right because it never got to check if I wasn't holding down the button. All right, so that should be good, and I'm going to save that. I think that should be good for today's video. In the next video, we'll finish it off. It'll probably be a pretty short video. Um, but that's all for today. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below telling me what I should do next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.